What's up, nation? I don't have any rights to this music. Raider Nation. Where you at? Where's my nation? I don't own any rights to this music. Check your nation in the house with Raider Reaction tonight. I will be your guest on Raider Reaction. Check your nation in the house. What's going on, nation? What's going on? What's up, Michael? What up? What up? What's up? What's going on, nation? What's up, Jonathan? Raiders. Raiders. What's going on in the nation on this Wednesday? It's hump day, baby. Hump day. All right. Jay Chuck, what's up, man? It's taco t uh, tacos are yesterday, man, but I like that. I like the ch tacos and the jalapeno. That is Serrano. Watch out. So on this wonderful Wednesday, we got some good things going on. Um, you know, uh, it's off season right now for a second. We're going back on in July, but, uh, you know, there are little things going on here and there. What's up, Nation? Um, the NFL has announced the following dates, guys, for 2018-2019 season. Mid July is going to be where everything starts popping off. Um, so teams are permitted to open preseason training camp for rookies beginning seven days prior to the club's earliest permissible mandatory reporting date for veterans. So the vets get on later than the rooks earlier. Um, that's the vet players other than the quarterback. Um, or injured players may report to the team's preseason training camp no earlier than 15 days prior to the club's first scheduled preseason game or July 15th, whichever is later. So then there's an acclimation period which is applies to the players who are on the club's rosters and, in, and including the mandatory vets reporting date. Um, players who report to camp or join the club's roster or receive me medical clearance or practice during the three-day acclimation period are required to complete as much of the acclimation period as remains. Players who report to camp or join the club's roster or receive medical clearance to practice after the three-day acclimation period has ended may practice including wearing pads and playing in immediately after passing a physical. A lot of stuff is in that sentence, guys. So, A, yeah, we got the players there right now, okay? So this is what's going on, and this is what, what has my attention because of what happened with what's going on with now Matavius Bryant. I haven't heard any more since that one statement that was out there by a, a very – very good source, which is Michael Gulkin. Um, what's up, Lines? Um, what's up, Kevin? So he, had, you know, he advised what happened with uh, Matavius Bryant getting, you know, tested uh, positive for weed. So that's what it states at this point. That's all I've heard since. I haven't heard anything else since that statement was made but what has me going on and worried right now now the players are all off doing whatever the hell they want which hopefully that's still training and conditioning strength and conditioning working learning the plays just like chucky said right um when they come back and go into camp all this plays in there guys they gotta get tested again they got they got all this stuff that has to happen and that's passing a physical. So we're hoping and praying at this point that, A, Matavius Bryant's shit ain't true, which is pretty freaking fucked up, to tell you that, to be honest with you, what's going down with that. Um, broke, it, 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 like, just shocked me because the guy was doing so good. He came in. He's playing hard. He's he's doing really well in, in – uh, all the OTA training, all the little mini camp. I mean, everything was going re really good. Chucky had so much great things to say about him. So 
my thing is that this kid either gets his shit together and become an all-star that he can be, or some shit's going to hit the fan. Bad. August 7th is the deadline for Mac. If he misses that, he loses the year of, of accrued experience contract, contracts. Yeah. Well, I, I, I believe in my heart of hearts right now that he will be in our camp come July. He will be there. Guys, don't. I'm not even stressing on that. To be honest with you, everybody's up in a bu- up in a roar, panties in a bunch. Everybody needs to sh- chill out. Max's gonna get his contract, his fat contract that he deserves. So, I'm not. I'm not much worried about. I'm not worried about Mac getting that contract, man, because he is the top player in on a, on any defense. He's number one defensive player. We all know that. Um, he's a, he's, he's a beast. He's one of our number one players and we got to pay the man, right? Pay the man. Chucky talked about it. Want to see that number 52 on that field, man. You know, um, that's what it is, what it is. So July 23rd, the signing period ends for transition players with outstanding tenders. So after that date until 4 PM, New York time on Tuesday for the following the 10th weekend of the regular season prior to club has exclusive negotiating rights so all that plays in on july 23rd also i said the second preseason game for mac to sign uh, i don't know chris i don't i see he's gonna be he's gonna be signing uh ahead of, ahead of that schedule i think i really do what's up scott <laughs> no problem if brian get, gets bounced we have eight men yeah I, I love eight men matt um i love eight men i love switzer um I think Switzer's going to be a great slot receiver. He's going to, he's a little smart, fast little Amendola, I call him. He's a, he's a spitfire, man. And Aitman is just as tall, big guy, and I think he's going to produce. So, um, yeah, next man up is, as I say, next man up. We got Coop, got Jordy. You know, we got all the guys we need. Um, so, you know, I'm not, I'm not worried about that, man. I think it's going to work out. I think, uh, Max going to be fine. He'll sign before even a pre- one preseason game. I believe he's not going to hold out that long. Things that have to, things got to start moving quickly. And I, I tell you right now, Chucky's going to have a, ha- a hand in that card right there. Like, come on, let's get this done, guys. You know what I mean, kind of thing. Because that's the kind of guy he is. Um, so I, I definitely don't see a Mac holdout, guys. I don't see him going past. I don't see him going into a preseason game holding out on us. I don't. Um, <clears throat> so, um, Hall of Fame game is August 2nd, Baltimore Ravens versus Chicago Bears. This is the Hall of Fame game on August 2nd. Then we got August 2nd to the 5th, the Hall of Fame weekend in Canton, Ohio. Wow, big deal. None of our players are going. <laughs> uh, August 7th, deadline for players under contract to report to their clubs to earn a career season for free agency, as we were talking about, Mac. Okay. August 9th to the 13th, first preseason weekend. August 16th to the 20th, second preseason weekend. August 23rd to the 26th, third preseason weekend. And August 30th is the final preseason game. Okay. So, <clears throat> September 1st. Prior to 4 p.m. New York time, teams must reduce the roster down to 53 men on that roster. Active slash inactive list. So September 2nd, claiming period for players placed on waivers at the final roster reduction will expire at noon New York time once again. Um, Also on September 2nd, under receipt of the personnel Notice at approximately 1 p.m. New York time, clubs may establish a practice squad of 10 players. Clubs participating in the International Player Development Program may assign one additional international player to a practice player contract. No club, including the player's prior club, will be permitted to sign a player to a practice player contract until all clubs have received simultaneously Notification via the above personnel notice that such players prior to NFL player contract has been terminated via the waiver system. 
Now that tells you a lot right there. That means that, okay, so we get 10 guys on a practice squad. We, 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 we're going to go out internationally and, and it's kind of crazy shit, man. Uh, Chucky, hook up with the commission and raffle off the crossbones and skull hat and your Chucky shirts. Do it for the nation. <laughs> and my Chucky shirts. Uh-oh. That's got to be a good raffle there, Bob. <laughs> I'll get with the commission. We'll see what we can come up with for sure. Uh, definitely. Uh, what's up, Matt? Carr will do a contract adjustment to help bring in Mac if necessary. Yeah, you know, I, th I think Carr would – he's the kind of guy that would do something like that too, Matt. I really do. Frosty and Ruben are cool, well-seasoned vets who can help out Hurst and P.J. Hall get in the system. There you go. Answer your question. I mean, they're vets. I really don't know too much about those dudes, just that they're vets. They're, they've been around the league a long time. Um, that's about it. I really haven't done my homework on those two, two, two guys. I just know that we bring in a lot of these vets, if you guys know that a lot of these vets aren't going to be on the team. What they're doing is they're here to, to come up, and they've known the Gunther system. They've been in the, the Olsen systems. They've been around these systems, so the vets are teaching the rooks all about the systems. So that's what, <laughs> that's what this is all about right now. Um, but there's going to be some major vet cuts. Um, all right, thank you, Chucky. No worries, Bob. Uh, definitely we'll check it out. That's a good idea, though. Much love on that idea, Bob. Without coming out and saying it, Topher called out Gilkin for a vague report on him. Oh, really? You know, J. Chuck, I haven't heard anything other than that report. And Gilkin has always been on point. Like, everything I see um, with him and uh, and Topher, too. Yeah, those two. But, I don't. you know, hey, I hope it's not right. I hope it's a vague report. Um it really was really sad to hear that when I did hear it, I was pretty bummed out um, to hear that, that, you know, he's tested positive for, for weed. Um, you know, you got to take your priorities straight. We all know this. It's next man up. If you're not going to be, be uh, a big, big boy or a big man and play the game, are you going to play football? Are you playing pro football? Is this going to be your profession? Are you going to be this your job or you do want to just, you know, fuck around? That's pretty much it, and you lose you lose everything. And we've seen it many, many times over and over. We've just had a guy we lost, guys, a guy that came on our team and shined, and now they're saying that um, Arden Key is like him. You know, it, it happens to these guys that are so good. You know, they come in the league, you think they're going to be the best that, you know, you've seen them on call, in college, and they just – they, they go flat. They, they choose to do other things instead, which is unfortunate. Um, so September so, um, September 2nd is a big day, real big day. And then, you know, of course, Tafur and Gilkin here. Oh, okay. Gotcha. Um. I, you know, I, look, Jay, I, I, Chuck, I hope that it's not right. I really do. I, I hope that it's vague. I hope it's not true. Look, it, it sounds like it might not be because I haven't heard anything else about this situation. So something's going, something's not right about it. Like, I think it's, it's, it might be not a true story. It's a false statement because the only thing I saw that one thing and now it's not even out there anymore. And you know, that would have blown, that would have blown up all over the place. We all know that, how that goes down. It trickles down like water. Um, I think Arden, Arden will be safe. Oh, yeah. Arden Key? Arden Key is going to be good. Um, I think that kid has a lot of potential to be a beast. He's going to end up taking Bruce Smith's place for sure. Um, Arden Key is a beast. I dig the kid. I think Mo Hurst is going to have an outrageous season. I think he's going to be rookie of the year. That's my prediction. Um, I really dig Mo Hurst. And um, I, I think our defense is, is going to be on point this year, guys. I, I really believe in it. I've, I've already threw out, threw out my predictions for the year. 
that we are going to go to the Super Bowl and we are going to win the Super Bowl. That was my prediction from day one, and it's still my prediction. Um, I believe in Chucky, man. I have heard – I have not heard anyone saying it's not true, though. Well, that's the thing. I haven't heard anyone saying it's not true, but I haven't heard anybody confirm the truth in that statement. You know, um, that's the whole key is that where that – stands at this point now that we're on kind of a like a a vacation right now kind of I want to say for a minute um if they're investigating it what's going on you know um look hey no one's safe in this league you know if you're not going to be on point then you know we don't have time for your shit uh I think on Smith won't make the team Scott shut up Scott's just trying to be funny right now, guys. Don't listen to him. Mm-hmm. Sure, Scott. How much you want to bet on that one? <laughs> I want to bet on that with you, bud. Let's make a wager. Um, I'll give you one of my shirts. If Arnicky doesn't make it, I'll give you one of my shirts, Scott. How's that? Alden Smith was a beast, okay? Alden Smith was a beast, and that's the guy that that would have been the best player ever if he wouldn't have gotten all the shit problems he did. They're saying Arden Key is just like Alden Smith. That's what I'm trying to talk about right now. I thought you were talking about Arden Key's not going to make the team. I see you used to put Alden Smith. Shut up, Scott. Um, Chucky, give me your opinion. Does Key remind you of Lance Johnson? No, Key reminds me of Alden Smith big time. I don't know about your last Johnstone, but our, uh, Alden Smith, he had the, that long arm, big, rock, like, long body kind of guy. Um, I, I definitely think uh, he's he's like an Alden Smith. And actually, Bruce Bruce Irvin said the same thing. Um, Jay Chuck, NFL went suspending and announces quickly. Yeah, I know. So that's what that's that's true. That's true. They do announce quickly. So I, I'm thinking they investigate it. It's not true. Matavius Bryant safe. If you if we're not seeing anything else out there, to me it sounds like he's fine and that there's nothing to came about it. Um, it, it is kind of weird because Michael Gilkin has not been wrong. Like this is the first time. He's put out there some statement like that and just stated it is like it gave a true statement of it. Like he said that statement. And that's really crazy because I I mean usually he's on he's on point. Now, so we got September 6th, start sixth through the tenth, the regular season opens, guys. Then we got our game on October 14th in London um, against the Sea Chickens. Which is gonna be greatness, but I'm, I can't wait for uh, September 10th, Monday night, baby. It's gonna be greatness. Um, so as soon as July hits, guys, that's when everything starts coming together. Um, camp, everything, you know, starts rocking and rolling. Right now, we're in little hiatus. Middle of middle of July is when it starts gonna happen. So we got a little bit more time, and then everything it goes quick. Um. I would bet Bryant will be fine. I would bet Bryant. Yeah, I, I would bet it too. I think so because, you know, you would see more out there, Chuck, and I don't see anything else out there at all. Um, what's up, Leslie? How are you? Much love. <clears throat> um, I believe that he's he's going to be fine too. And I, I'm It just – it freaked me out. It shocked the shit out of me when I saw that statement. I was like, no way, man. Not not him, you know? And Because uh, he's going to be great for us. Uh, Scott, Aitman is the guy I want to see play. I'm excited about him. Yeah, I, I am excited about Aitman. I want to see I want to see this guy play. I want to see him with pads on. I want to see him down the field. I want to see what he can, he can catch good. I want to see what he can run routes well. What's up? Just living the nation dream, Leslie. Um, you know, I want to see if he's going to be out there catching good balls, if he knows how to run his routes. You know, Chucky's all about that. You know, he's all about you got to learn the system. You got to learn your playbook. 
and you're, we're going to see who on this time off has, has, was working, learning their playbook. And I'll tell you a couple guys that I know are, are studying their asses off right now. One is our leader, Derek Carr, right? Two, I believe that Colt Miller is just getting hit. He's get he loves the playbook. He's getting into it with that playbook. I believe Moe's doing it. I believe Arden's doing it. I actually believe PJ Hall's doing it. I believe in um, also Brandon Parker. I believe in those guys, man. Um, hey, Raider Nation. My... So, um, <laughs> I you know, I, I'm looking forward to seeing what these guys bring to us on this. Now that when you put the pads on, now we're playing, right? When you put those pads on, now you're playing some football. No more shorts, no more running around, you know, playing catch. This is going to be get in, the, get, in the, get in the huddle, call the plays, and let's get some tackling. What's up, Billy? So um, that first little scrimmage game we're going to have with, uh, I believe it is the Lions – we're going to scrimmage with the Lions. Um, that's going to be cool to see. Uh, hopefully they somehow video that, but I doubt it. It's, not, it's probably going to be little shots of it, you know. Um, but then when, once preseason starts is when it's all coming out. When we find out who what separates the men from the boys, baby, come, come preseason. Uh, dealing with Chucky on the com. Command at the helm. You better know the playbook or you'll be sitting on the damn bench. Yep. Most definitely you will be, Leslie. You know that for a fact. Yes. If you don't know that playbook inside and out, it's it's going to be peace out. Yeah, Detroit, Chris. Yep, the Lions. What's going on, bro? Living the nation dream, bro. <laughs> no more powder puff. Let's get some... <laughs> Yeah, they're trying to turn it into that stuff, man. They're trying to turn it into some powder puff, whatever that, you know. Come on, man. Let's play some football. You know, I think we should all uh, petition, put a petition out there about not, cha like, putting the rules back to where they were at. Like, let's bring this back to the real NFL. Like, smash mouth football. I, I, I wish we can all just petition out there to this damn commissioner that we do not want to change any rules in the NFL. Let's go back to playing smash mouth football. No more of this shit. You can't hit this guy. You can't touch the quarterback. You can barely do this. You do the kickoffs, this, that. It's such bullshit. Everything about it pisses me off, man. They're turning this into shit football. Just pisses me off. I want to go back to old school, man. I want to petition that shit. Send out a petition. Put on a Facebook page. This is a petition to change to not change the NFL. Let's go back to Smash Mouth football. Does does the boxing industry change? Nope. Boxing hasn't changed, guys. We watch boxing. Do they not hit each other in the head? They sure still in the hell do. They don't wear any pads on their head. These guys got helmets. As a team, you don't pick project pick project tackles in round one or round three. Parker Miller starts sooner rather than later. Yes, Jay Chuck, I believe that. I believe Cole Miller will be a starter. Parker, hopefully, you know, um, he's a little slower on the side. They say he's working, but not as fast as Cole Miller. Um, but hopefully he's going to pick that up. Um, but, yeah, you don't do that. You definitely don't draft one and three and, and uh, sit him on the bench. That's for sure. Um, I believe they're both going to have playing time for sure. Park, um, Mil Miller, excuse me, guys. Miller, Chucky said that Miller, he loves the way Miller's playing. He's, he wants him to be a starter. Uh, uh, Leslie, I guess the NFL just wants you to give, on, give one of those stupid cue cards to the next player when you're going. <laughs> I'm telling you, Leslie, it's ridiculous. How about Coop versus Conley in training camp? Ooh, yeah. I'm liking that, Kevin. I can't wait to see that, bro. I really think Conley's on, on a good place right now. He's in a good spot. He's healthy. It's going to be a challenge for, for Coop to, to, uh, against Conley. Um, it's going to be fun to watch, man. 
I think it's going to be fun to watch that situation. And I hope they, t I hope they do some Snapchats on that because that's going to, that's going to, I like, you know, it's tough. To, it's tough to call man right now, but you know, if, if Conley plays like he did, like before in college, I don't know, man, Conley's on, Conley's on to get some good things. And that's why Goodell has the airplane. Yeah, exactly. It's ridiculous. Bring back Paul Tagliabue. Chucky, what's your opinion on how much laundry gets th thrown on the field when a running back lowers his head? <laughs> laundry? I can't get – hey, bro, I think your words are getting messed up. Laundry, throat. Yeah, it, look it. Check it out. They can't hit. Now it's like you can't hit here. You can't hit here. You can't hit – you have to – the knees are going to be blown out. Everybody's knees are going to get blown out, man, because you can't hit above your 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 uh, your waist. What the hell's that? Boxing is a dying sport, nah, man. No, Jay Chuck, I watch boxing still, man. I play. I was a boxer. I, I watch it still. There's some good boxers out there, man. There's still some good boxers out there, and uh, you know it's still an example. I'm gonna I'm gonna shine because. Well, you, you take another example. I mean, they still they hit, they beat the shit out of each other in hockey. I mean, shit, they have no teeth. Well, they're not calling that shit. Um, look, look, boxing is still around and it's a tough sport, and you know what you're getting into when you play it. And it's just like football, tackle football. You know what you're getting into when you sign the dotted line. When you sign that paper to play the sport, you know what you're getting yourself into. That's it, man. There's gonna be injuries. Oh, flags. Probably a lot, Bob. Because this new shit that they're trying to pull on, um, especially, you know, the Raiders. You know, you, we all seen what, the, what happened last year with the flags, with that card. Now, that card was, I think, the ultimate laundry flag I've ever seen. Yeah, laundry. Sorry. I, I go by flag because I just do. Uh, welcome to the wonderful world of the NFL. Yeah. Missouri in the house. What's up, Missouri? What's up, Jason? Um, there's going to be a lot of flags, man. And I want to see how this kickoff's going to go down. How you got to stay back. Everybody's got to stay back. And, and for the kick, this is going to be – I think there's going to be a lot of offsides on this shit. There's going to be a lot of crazy stuff happening. This is brand new, man. Um, Conley is an outside corner. Coop will work from the slot this year in Gruden's offense. Well, he says that he's going to switch them around. No one's playing in a set position, Jay Chuck. No one is going to be safe in their one position. Chuck, uh, Chucky wants to get them to go, you know, in multiple positions. They're not going to be just staying in the slot or, you know, being on the outside or any of that stuff. It's going to be switching around. He's switching players around, man, so you can't count on that. Um, he probably will mostly play around the slot. Um, this year it's going to be different. Switzer's going to be in the mix with that slot too. Um, he's going to be playing in there. So we'll see. We'll definitely see. But it's going to be a different offense, that's for sure. This year is going to be a whole different offense. We're going to see a lot of different schemes playing. Um, there's going to be schemes, different schemes on both sides of the ball. Defense, there's going to be some crazy schemes playing. They're not going to know we're coming at them. Um, I'm excited, man. It's going to be great. Uh, <coughs> well, you got Melvin Rashad. Rashad Melvin is going to be a standout player, too. That's another guy that – watch out. It's going to be Conley and Melvin. And then you got your – your. Uh, see, the free safety positions. We got, see, Gilchrist. And then we got the strong safety, which, you know, I, I'm still questioning about what's going to happen with Melly right now. Um Melly is a big question mark in my mind. If this kid is going to really grind and get in there and become the star that he could be too, we'll see. So there's going to be people fighting for jobs because we have all these guys here that can do the same thing, you know, that Melly, that he thinks he has his own job. And now, and, and Gruden called him out and said, hey, no position safe. No position safe. So um, people are fighting for their, their, their positions, man. And there's some guys that are standing out. You know, you got uh, – he keeps talking about Morrow. 
He thinks that he's a great linebacker, a Morrow. We still don't know about Bowman if he's coming back. We got uh, also Lemur. You know, we have you know some we have some great players that are we, we don't know what's going to happen yet. After everything's said and done, I think Matavius Bryant will be our leader at receiver. Leader that could be. Um, Jordy's good about. I think Jordy's going to be leading for the, for touchdown wise. I think Jordy's going to be in that in the category of getting a lot of TDs. He likes to smell that end zone and he gets there. Um, I really think that uh, that Jordy's going to be leading on the touchdown zone. As far as yardage, I can see Matavius Bryant getting a lot of yards. Also, Coop. Um, but, uh, you know, as far as TDs, I think Jordy's going to have a lot of TDs. And I'm not counting out Lynch, man. The guy's a bull. He's a beast, and I think he's going to be really shining this year with Doug Martin, too. No news. No news, Akil, um, on uh, Bryant. So... Jay Chuck was saying that this is this information is kind of we don't it's bog we might we might think it is bogus. Um, I thought it I don't know what's gonna ha what's going on yet. Um, Gilkin, you know he's really good at what he, he always is pretty much on point, but I guess you know it's not really clear and it's not been out there. And when the NFL suspends you, they do it right away. Is is the truth? You know it is the truth. They do right do it right away. So. Obviously, I, I don't think there's truth into that and in, in, into this with Matavius Bryant. I don't think there's any truth in it. Just just by you know listening to what you guys have said right now, because see, I, there's nothing else out there. I've been scanning it, been looking at page. I've even looked at his page. There's nothing out there. Um, so we'll see. We will see. You know, we got some outstanding players out there, guys. Who do you guys think is going to be that the out, most outstanding rook of the year on our team? Who's going to stand out to you guys? <clears throat> I've already said to me, it's Mo Hurst. Um, that's my boy. You know, uh, it, it's going to be it's going to be a fight. For these positions, okay. O'Kill says Arden Key, nice. I like that. Yeah, I, I really, I really have faith in Arden that he's going to come out and produce for us, man. I really do. Um, I think he's got all the troubles behind him. I want to see Matt get on that field though, so you know he can take him underneath his wing. You know, I mean, we got Bruce. That's great. We have Bruce there, you know, um, helping him out, and uh, to hear White is out there, but. It would be nice to have our boy, you know, Mac, out there giving some love. Me too. Leslie's with me with Mo Hurst. That's my rookie. Mo, bringing in Mo, big Mo. Yeah, I definitely think Mo's gonna have a great season. The kids out there, he's gonna, he's a, uh, you know, these players got chips on their shoulders, man. And Mo Hurst, he's learning the plays. He's doing really well. They really like Mo. Um, he's uh, he's out shining some peeps out there, man. Um, and people that you wouldn't think are shining right now are like Morrow. You got Carl Joseph that's out there that they're 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 ironing they're ironing him out. Of course, I knew Rashad Melvin was going to do some things. Um, to hear Whitehead, um, I personally hope that I really don't want to see us keep Reggie Nelson. I really don't. That's one of my little. I just hope he's there for the for the rooks right now and. Man, I, I don't want to see him out in the field. He's just he's just he just sucks. He's just not a he's not a strong player out there. Um I, I don't believe in Reggie Nelson anymore. You know, it's just like we need to move on from that situation. And we got we got a lot more guys, a lot younger guy talent out there that can take that position that, that spot any any second. So <clears throat> I mean, I'm looking for that guy going down. Yeah, he is dead weight, Leslie. He really is. I just – I don't see him sticking around. We got too many guys that are there for us um, <clears throat> to take that, that position now, take that, that spot and and make and make something happen instead of seeing these guys go running down the field, you know, and him not stopping them is just 
it's a killer it's a killer you know maybe they've got hopefully carl joseph like there's he said they're saying he's doing he's doing really good stuff you know and got gilchrist that plays multiple positions the guy's a beast he plays all over the field uh <clears throat> and uh hopefully you know and then we got nelson that new kid you know he's another good guy and obi and carl joseph so we got some players out there that can play the safety's position um but hey, it's a big list. A lot of guys got to They got they they got to go out there and shine. Come August, really July, really the end of July, because that's when they can come into camp and they start really putting pads on. But playing like you know scrimmage and all that stuff with Detroit, and once they hit those pads on, it's it's whoever's in, who's ever shining is going to be the lead, is going to take that fifty-three man roster. You know, and we will see who it is come come down to the last preseason game, and that's when it happens. You know, they break it down. Every every preseason game, we, we start cutting, start cutting people probably before that too. But I think there's going to be another big move somehow, some way. There's going to be another big move coming through. I just see it. For some reason, I, I've, I've been keep, – keep having this feeling that something else is going to happen. Um. <clears throat> Uh, uh, O'Kill says, I heard Gruden said Gilchrist is looking like our number one safety. Yeah, well, he said that he likes Gilchrist. Yeah, he's a great he's a great player, and he plays multiple positions. He kept he kept saying that a lot. Yeah, which I he he can, which is good. He likes guys that can play different positions. Uh, Randy Nelson was in a shit shit system with Norton. He knows the Gunther system, and will come in as backup to help Gilchrist. Yeah. I can see, Matt, I can see Reggie being a backup if we need him, but I don't know if we're going to keep him on the roster. We can get some money out of that. I don't know. It just depends, man. I know he knows that's – why, that's why he's there now is because he knows Gunther's system, and that's why he's there to help out the Rooks for sure. Um, Leslie, I just hope that we're going to have an awesome year, year. year. Not like last year, it about killed me. We got a whole new team. This year, and a new leader by the name of Chuck. You know it. It's okay. I got you. <laughs> I hear what you're saying. Um, we are going to have a good year. I, I definitely believe that Chucky's going to bring everything to the table. You know, he's putting his whole heart and soul into this team right now. He hasn't held back anything. He's pulling everything he can out of the, ki to the, out of the kitchen sink for this team right now. And like I say... My predictions are strong, but I'm, I'm placing that Super Bowl on there. Um, we're going to come out of Oakland with the Super Bowl with the Lombardi Trophy for the nation of Oakland, of the Oak Town. We can't leave there without that. And that will just put a, a dot down there stating we just, we just accomplished another Super Bowl for the Oakland Raider nation. And uh, I, I believe that, that uh, it can happen. Um, we got the team. We got the coaching staff. We just have to get it all together and come together as that team like we are establishing right now. And everybody's coming together. It's awesome. The way Chucky can make a team happen, is, it's unbelievable. Just watching them, you know, just watching them coming together as a group, as a whole. and. Um, I just hope everybody stays on point on this little break they're having, you know. Um, this is the test right now, you know, especially for rooks coming up. You know, are you going to making sure you're doing your strength and conditioning? Are you reading the playbook? It's time to shine. It is time to shine. I uh, um, You know what? I haven't heard anything about his 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 surgery updates. Um, I'm look. I've looked all around, man, um, and no updates on how his surgery went. I wish they would put that out there, you know, to see how he's doing with his el with his elbow surgery. That's that's a good one to talk about, <laughs> okay? I mean, I would love to hear about what's going on with him and his surgery updates, but there's and it's funny because usually they put up everything, you know, about Chucky and stuff like that, but. I haven't heard any kind of updates on Chuck's uh, 
surgery, but there was, he was actually at the Oakland hosted a, a family boot camp and he was there. So it seems like that was just on June, um, June 19th and he was there speaking. So I think he's, he's doing fine. Um, it showed him at the boot camp, and this was on June nineteenth. It was for the players and the and the family, um, the rookies and the families to come out there. Which I think that was a cool thing for them to do to talk about what they do, how they do for the players, what they do for the players. Um, they had that done, and that's pretty cool. Um, I thought that was pretty cool. So I believe he's okay. Now that I think about it, because I saw him at the boot camp for the family. So he was there. So this weekend was designed to I'll put that out there for you guys here. Into the Raider organization. So to give them a first hand look at this is what the NFL is about. This is what the Raiders are about. They need to understand the inner workings of what we do so they can better assist and help and support their sons on their journey with us. And they're all together. They're all rookie parents. <laughs> it's been amazing. I mean, I haven't seen my dad, my uncle, for like a month and a half. So having them come up here, it's been a good experience. Monero. Good learning experience. This is a very emotional time having the parents come out here and then kind of, uh, yeah, they've Stop supported Connor. me this entire journey. And just having them make it all the way out Townsend. Here, special. This weekend has been incredible. It's been really nice to meet other Raider parents. Really good to see my son. I haven't seen him since the draft. Everything that we learned, all the sessions have been great and things that we really need to know. So it's been awesome. This is a team effort. See? There's, see, there's Chucky. He looks like he's fine. There's his elbow. I mean, he looks like he's holding it down, but. What we're about, what's the organization about, our values, you know, kind of what we do, how we run things. Everybody you see here in the Raiders, we're here to support you. Again, welcome to National Football League. More importantly, welcome to the Silver and Black. Pretty cool, guys. So, on that note, O'Kill. Okay. It looks like Chucky's good. Um, he's just holding his arm down, but he went out there. He was a, he was a keynote speaker for that, and that was a couple days ago. So that's pretty cool. Pretty cool thing that went on there. Um, there's some cool stuff that goes on, you know, in the back, in the back of a. Uh, it's a family, you know, and they all support each other and they want to get everybody involved, which I think that was cool that they do that for the rookie rookie families. Because they don't know, you know, this is all new to them. Uh, I just see our team shining uh, in every aspect of of that of the team. Period. In every area, we're shining. And um, you know, penalties. I the only thing I see that's going to be any hurt hurting us is going to be penalties. And hopefully, that we can just shut that down some. Um, other than the idiotic penalties that we get that we, we can't have control over. It's just the stupid ass zebras, which we all know about. Um, but if we can control those penalties and get on that board and make those first downs and touchdowns and our defense holds the other team or gets sacks or interceptions or fumbles, you know, if we can do all that stuff, guys, I mean, we got a team that's going to be hard to beat. Um, so I, I believe that we have that team and we just got to come together and do it. And Chucky's the guy. I say this every day in Chucky, we trust. That's the guy, man. You know, he, he didn't go, he didn't go have fun on his, on his little short, short little three or four weeks. Right. He's not having fun guys. You know what he went out and did? He went out and got elbow surgery then came back into the facility <laughs> and did a key, he was a keynote speaker for these rookies' families. Come on, guys. Tell me this guy doesn't have heart. You are kidding. The guy is all heart. He's all about the Raiders, and he wants to win. And don't tell me he wants just to win a game. He wants to win the whole ball wax. He wants to win a Super Bowl. He has got something to prove. 
you know our whole our whole uh dynasty back then when we when we had that tuck rule came out i just hate saying that word you know that was a fumble when that fumble was a fumble and if they would have left that way, we would have went to the Super Bowl. We would have been on our own run. It would have turned on the whole table. We would have been the champions forever. For a long time, we would have been a dynasty because Chucky wouldn't have got fired. The team would have went on to keep winning. And this is how it would have been. And so Chucky is definitely here to do something. He's tired of us losing. His favorite team is the Raiders. Even when he coached the Bucks, it's always been the Raiders. Uh, let's see. Any of, if Hurst makes rookie of the year, our defense will be top fifteen. Yeah, I'm hoping so, Bob. I'm I'm feeling good. I'm feeling good about it for real. Chucky never wanted to leave the Raiders. No, he didn't. It was a deal with Al Davis and concerning business back in the day. Yep, he never wanted to leave us. I think I believe it would have been a different ball game if that fumbled it. If that was a fumble, Chucky wouldn't have been fired. It would have been. Whole different ball game. We would we would have went on a run our our own damn selves. Ah, oh, you leaving? All right, good night, Chris. Much love to you, bro. Uh, hundred percent. Raiders get out there and do something good for someone. Raiders, peace, love, and Raider Nation. You know it all day, every day. Silver black, baby. Raiders. You know it, Chris. Have a good night, buddy. Um, the challenges are. You know, everything can switch in, in, a, in a second, right? It can switch in a second in, in football. I mean, it, it happens in, in games. It happens in making business decisions, like Leslie said. You know, it happens. It just – anything can change in a matter of a, of, of a second. And we, we see it all the time in games, guys. We look like we're just taking over the, the game, and then all of a sudden, boom, here they come back at us. I mean, you know, and then a penalty here or there that can hurt you, and it just sucks. That's why we got to go above and beyond it. We have to rise above. We have to be the better team this year. We have to show the NFL that we are the team to beat this year because we are going to be the dynasty once again. We are coming back, baby, because Chucky's back. Sorry, Jack. Just like it states. We are coming back. Now, there's still there's still talk about us going after, and since we didn't get who we wanted for linebacker, Bowman is still in the house, still around. Um, so we'll see. We'll see if he comes up there and signs. Look, I don't see any other teams running after him and, and chasing him down to get it signed. Nope. Um. I mean, Johnson's going to be great for us, but if we can if we can hook up and get Bowman, man, I would really love that to happen. I really would love to see Bowman get in again. <clears throat> the guy's a beast. He came in and just shined and made things happen for us, guys. You know, he really did on our defense when our defense was just flat. So we'll see, you know, we'll see, but – it's kind of nice when you sit there and you, you hear the guys talk, especially the vets. They're so professional the way they talk. These rookies need to pay attention to how these veterans work and, and how they talk and how they do this and how they do that. Like they're Arden Key's like following Bruce around like a like a puppy dog right now. That's what that's what Bruce was saying. Our, he's on he's on my tail all day long. He's on my tail. Ask me question after question after question. What does that tell you? That's a great sign, guys. That's that's determination. The guy wants to learn everything about his position. I mean, that's somebody that's really taking it and wanting to get get places. So, I mean, I definitely can see Arden being in there fighting for that that rookie of the year also. You know, I really do. Um it's gonna it's gonna be fun to watch these rookies, especially these guys that are coming out and uh, starting on the line, man. I I mean I don't really know what's gonna happen with Penn guys. Um, there's you know he might be cut. We don't know. There's talk about that that he might be cut. If Colton Miller shines like like Chucky's talking about, he loves Colton Miller and how he's working. He you never know, man. You never know what can happen in, in the NFL, as they say. 
So we, we will we will see what happens. Um, come training training camp is gonna you know the camps the times where where you find out everything. Camp is the times where you find out who's shining. So we will see. It pins around. I just see that that foot having a problem. That foot is no, the foot is no joke, especially the surgery he had. I mean, that's that's a that's a major surgery, you know. And for a big man, man, I don't know. It's kind of crazy. It's kind of crazy, but hey, I, I mean, I'm just. I'm looking forward to Colt Mill and Brandon Parker being on those, being the tree trunks on the on the corners right there, or on the left and on the right tackle. Oh yeah, the big posts, upright posts, holding up for Carr, giving him that time to throw down the down the field, man. You know, um, just ho opening it up for him, having that time to just get down there and destroy. How long ago did he have the surgery? Was it last year when he shouldn't be held up? No. Uh, are you talking about Chucky? He just had surgery. So mini camp ended Leslie last week, right? So he went that, that day and went and had surgery. Chucky had elbow surgery. And this is from, he had surgery before because in 98, I guess he got nailed by one of us, our players. They are doing a drill. Oh, Bowman. No, Bowman. Oh. Bowman's fine. Yeah, Bowman's fine, Les. Um, he played. He was playing fine when he got in and played for us last year. When he played for the last 10 games, he was fine. No, um, I just – I want Bowman to sign is what I want, you know, and get this done too, you know. There's players that are on the on – the, I mean, we finally got Arden to sign. Arden's, Arden was our last guy to sign as the Rooks, so the Rooks are all signed up. That's a good thing, you know, but now we got to work on getting number 52, his fat check, getting him paid. Come on, Reggie. Get it done, man. I know Chucky's in his ear. Come on, man. Let's get this finalized. Let's do this. Let's do it. I can hear it. I mean, come on. This is just stupid. Okay, my mind went. So I was thinking of somebody else last year. One of our defensive guys who wound up in the hospital, but he didn't come back in and play. Um, was, it, was it, wait, is it Hudson? Was it Hudson that got hurt? The guy on the line. Yeah. He's got. They gotta pay him his money, man. They can't wait till the last minute to pay Mac. I'm telling you, Mac needs to get signed. The guy is the number one player, defensive player in, in the league. He's the number one player on our team, and he needs to be. He needs to be signed. The guy is was our straight. The only guy that was making any, anything happen in these in this last year was Mac. Two years, three years, four years. As long as he's been there. Is Mac? You gotta pay this man. I mean, come on, quit lagging, get it done, and let's sign this dotted line and pay him that fat check. That's it, and everything will be fine. I do not want to get his franchise tag. That's the last thing we need to do. Then we're screwed for sure. We need to get him signed immediately. As soon as possible, the guy needs to get signed. Sign that big fat check. Amen. <laughs> well, guys, it's been fun. I hope you guys have a great night. And thanks for joining Chucky Nation on Raider Reaction. And Chucky is 